Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. It's been a little while since I've done one. Um, but I thought I'd sort of jump back in and just show how to use Maglox. Um, I've created a sort of a basic cargo container here and a little tugboat as well, just to, or like sort of small craft and moving things around just as a demonstration. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? Before I get to that, so with these uh, mag locks, which are these blocks here, they're on the, the first system side of things, they do need to be powered, but they can just be attached to an, an unpowered object. So I've got here, and even though it's not powered, I do have access to the inside. But there's nothing in here apart from the starter block. Um, so there's no power or anything like that. So I'll just close that one up again. Um, so yeah, you can just put them all around something, all different angles, and it's only the vehicle that you're going to use which will actually um, need powering. Now, of course, this one I've just added when I'm building it, mirrored it with two large power plants there. Right, so let's have a look at the actual tug itself, which has got a mag lock on top, and that does need to be uh, powered. I've got indicator lights uh, attached to it as well, so I can see when it's powered on. Um, because the, the best way to do all this is use an external view to line everything up. Although they do have a decent range to them, these mag locks. Right, let's open that up. Now, I've got on the back here all the usual blocks. These are the hotkey blocks I have got. Let's see, what have I got there? That one is to the mag lock as well as the indicator lights. That one is actually set, if I get close enough, to switch. So it'll behave like um, one of these normal switches here. So it's either you press to turn it on, press to turn it off, instead of like a toggle where you, for the length of time you hold it pressed, your button pressed, that it'll stay on. Now that one's assigned to there too. What have I got there? That's the, 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 the canopy. And that will be, ooh, oh yeah, lights. I added lights for some reason, but they're a bit weird. Uh, I do have here landing gear. Uh, despite the previous videos I've done on landing gear, I've actually done just a really basic system. It just slides back up and down. It's, yeah, a bit boring. Um, there are two sets of controls. One there and one there. If I try and assign that to there, it'll, it'll say, as, as the message shows, it's, uh, this yoke is attached to a child entity and won't be able to figure out which way it's up and it does let you daisy chain it to that one there but there's a bit of a bug early access um, which messes things up if as soon as you try to access that so that is unlinked to anything and it's just purely a, a dummy control so let's get into the seat right uh, push that one Go, ignoring that one and go for the one under the chair and uh, it doesn't really matter really how which by it being over there because it adjusts the view anyway so limited view which is why we'll switch to external so we've got all of these here now I'm gonna position it controls are still a bit twitchy and there all right if I push tab I can actually switch to, uh, it turns off the mouse control, but I can still reposition things. All right. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch to that, line it up a bit better. I'm being a bit f perfectionist with this one. Right. There, uh, that'll do. Right. Uh, press the hotkey one. You can see everything lights up. There's even a bit of a glow from the mag lock as well. And now, when I rotate it, the whole thing moves moves with me, which is quite neat. So if you build a, a larger spaceship or something like that, you can take multiple containers. I suppose you can have a, a gangway up the middle. One of these ships brings the container in, and then a, a second player will click to switch on the, the mag, sort of the mag lock on the inside of the larger ship, and just transfer containers that way. But for now, we've got this. Now this container, I can't remember, I know that one has the, um, the the start block on there, 
but I think this one I removed. So if I go out of that, just have a brief moment. I'm going to head down to there. F4, go out of that. L, light cruise. Uh, holy crap, stop. Where have I gone? Right. Am I moving forwards? I oh, am yeah, very slowly. Right, let's go there. There we go. Right, let's. I'm aiming to get into a bit of gravity so I can let this container go. Oops, stop, 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 stop. Right, turn sideways, turn off maglev, off it goes. Bye bye. There we go, container delivered. Now let's uh, land a little bit as well. Ooh. Ooh, exit. Oh, what button did I press? No clip mode. Uh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> what happens if I. Ah, no, okay. I guess it must be character right. G for landing gear. F. There we go. Oh, there we go. And there we go, that's the, the cargo tug. Container, nicely delivered. Oh, it does move. Oh yes, the, the grass poking through. But yeah, so there we go. It's uh, not, too, uh, not too strenuous using these. You can just have that linked up to uh, a hotbar or a hotkey switch or piece of logic where is it there we go make sure it's set to switch and there you go you can turn it on and off as needed or even just connect it to a further switch and connect all sorts but you do need a for the for large ones to move around large stuff like that you do need a large mag mag lock yeah the smaller one it does yeah, mass limit 10 tons, and that one's 5,000 tons. So yeah, you could do pretty large. In fact, thinking about it, I'm not really sure if there is a um, you need a decent power thing for it or not. Really, something to experiment with. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that for this one. It's a bit of a short video. Um, I noticed on a recent this is on the experimental branch as well. We've now got med bays, so that'll be something to play with, and apparently gimbaled weapons. So I'll have to have a look at that as well. So that should be interesting. I'll uh, get these both uploaded to the Steam Workshop as well. But uh, again, with this little tug, just make sure not to use that control stick. It will go a bit crazy. So of that, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one.